Well, it's a new day. Uh, it's kind of rainy and all that. All my junk is sitting outside. I should have gotten rid of that by now, but... Um, today I'm working on this guy again, and as you can see, I've come up with a basic, so far, um, design for holding the engine. Um, so far, I've cut out a couple of these pieces of metal, the hole in it for the bolt um, on both sides, and I have these rails coming out that I've tacked, tack welded to these pieces um, that will go under the engine. Um, these guys obviously are a bit long, I need to shave them down. Um, once I'm all set on this design. And there are a couple holes right here. I can add some um, angled metal in here and drill some holes and then weld it to the side here so I can get even more mounting power if I want. This guy is going to kind of rock a bit. Um, I have another piece that's going to come up. It's going to go against here like this and I have this piece of metal just kind of smushed in there for now. And it's going to come in at an angle and weld in just like that and go up against this bracket here. And I'll probably, I'll most likely end up adding another one of these cross pieces with a triangular bracket to keep it in place from breaking and all that. So that'll be like that. And then on this side, I'm going to have um, another piece coming up like this that will attach to that mounting hole in a similar fashion as this guy right here with these metal strips here. So that'll have one of those going across right there on both sides. Um, <clears throat> I put the frame rails on the inside of these guys instead of on the outside because I need to leave room for my sprocket and chain to come down along here. Otherwise that would be kind of in the way. Uh, it's mostly going to be pointing kind of downwards towards the axle. I want to try and mount the engine as, as far back as possible to leave space for the uh, exhaust manifold and uh, um, heat shield and kind of cage almost assembly right behind the driver. Um, so you don't get burned or whatever from the engine. It's kind of close but I think I'll be able to do it. Um, so that's generally the scoop on this part right here. I'm going to go ahead and get some more pieces put up and on and all that and kind of attempt to just drop it in place and see how it works. Uh, my plan is to add pieces of angled um, metal right here with holes in it, with uh, um, oval shaped holes in it for the, uh, the sliding engine mount. Probably like one here, one on that side, and maybe a couple back here or something. And uh, that'll go straight down and I'll drill holes in these two uh, bars across and that will be your bolt hole with the sliding um, engine mount. It is only, um, I'm only tack welding it, I'm not fully welding or anything because I need to take anything off and move it around a bit. For so far, this seems to be a pretty good design and uh, it's you know not a very high precision application either. Um, so there's that too. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this piece welded to there, tack welded, and then kinda see what I can do with that. Alright, so now this uh, setup here is a little bit more complete. I've got it, um, things clamped in place just for now. Um, everything's all cleaned up so I can do a few tack welds like here and in there just to kind of hold it together temporarily. Um, see if everything will fit. I have this guy clamped across here to make sure these two bars are parallel. Um, this guy clamped right in the middle here. I've got it all lined and everything. It might look like it's a little bit off because these links are a little bit different and all that. I'm going to shave these down once I'm done probably. Um, you know, I, the tools I have, I have like a hacksaw and a, an angle grinder and all sorts of stuff like that. So there's really not much precision I can even work into this. Uh, but basically it looks like it's going to work and I'm just going to get some welds in on these guys. See how it works.
Yeah, it's on fire. All right, so you can see the tack welds I did on here. Um, so I'll clean, still have to clean them up a little bit, but that's pretty much it for that section right there. Again, I'm gonna add a little triangular cross piece going down here somehow, just to reinforce it. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and fit up these pieces, right like so, and then have a bar come straight up and down to connect like that. So that'll be next. All right, time for a bit of a tack holding on this next support bracket piece. clip on here, mounting flange bolt piece thing, whatever you want to call it. Tack once again as always. Oops, it easy. So here we are. It's uh, sunny again. The uh, weather doesn't really know what it's doing here, but I've got this guy tacked on here. I've got that guy tacked right there. And uh, so far, what I have to do now is rep replicate this piece on this side for the other hole. And then um, probably uh, add a little cross piece right here and up here for stability and then clean it up and all that cut off the excess and uh, add that triangle piece in there and then test fit it fully weld it and uh, see how it does okay so these two guys are now on here I've got the mounting bolt right in there I'm gonna go ahead and do another tack because it was a little bit off I'm gonna bend it and tack it again and once I do that, I think I'm going to start grinding down all those uneven edges and all that on the ends. Feel that nasty stuff. I had to, um, I had to do this guy. Clean the garage. It's a drain plug right there. I had to uh, work around and put that bar off to the side rather than on top. But once I smooth this guy out, I can put a piece across here, and you can't really see that anyway. So I'll be gone. So I'm doing some grinding, making the sky a little bit more neat and tidy and all that. Um, I had to undo these welds here and drill holes because, believe it or not, I couldn't actually get this bracket to pull off when that was welded on because that would snag and these guys would snag over there. So I had to drill holes and I'm going to put bolts in there instead to attach that bracket. Um, ground those guys off. Right now I'm going to add a piece going across this direction. Um, to keep those the same width apart and all that, a bit more, add some solidness to it. And I'll do the same up here. I'm going to grind these guys off and do another um, sideways piece across up there. And a uh, few more things. I keep on talking about that little triangle thing I'm going to do here as a uh, reinforcement, but uh, that'll come a little later. And uh, yeah. All right. So at this point, I'm kind of just going through and. Uh, Finishing up some welds, reinforcing the tacks and all that. Uh, everything looks pretty good at this point. Um, 